Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Superior Physical Therapy's YouTube page. I'm Ben Fuse and this is Keith Bailey, Andrew Grecki, Nick Hawkins, and Mike Swinger. We're here today, we're just going to talk a little bit about a question we commonly receive. Is, is pain normal as we age? Should I get more pain when I get older? My quick answer to that is no. I don't think life should be filled with pain every day as we age. That shouldn't be a byproduct of our age. Naturally, as we do get older, we have some physiological changes that happen in our body. We lose some flexibility, we lose collagen fibers, we lose height in our, our uh, lumbar, thoracic, and cervical spine. Just things that naturally start to begin when we hit the age of 25 and just throughout our life cycle continue. But uh, simply, no, pain should not be a part of your everyday life when you're doing simple tasks. So, Mike, what do you think about this? Anything to add about uh, I agree with that. I think it's it's very common that uh, balance and proprioception, which is a fancy word for your brain's awareness of your body parts, those things don't just get better naturally over time. They tend to, to get worse if we don't use them, if we don't challenge them. And throughout our lifetime, we tend to avoid things that make us feel uncomfortable, uh, things that make us uh, feel susceptible to danger. Balance is one of those things that we need in little increments all day long. And if we don't use it, if we don't challenge it, then our balance tends to get smaller and smaller and smaller, make us more susceptible to, to injury. Yeah, Mike, I, I agree with what you're saying there with balance. And do you think it's fair for me to say that balance would decrease if we got you know, used to doing certain activities, such maybe as walking or if we fall into you know, just daily tasks that tend to be more single plane? Do you think that would affect balance as well? Yeah, absolutely. That's a good point, Nick. And then kind of going off what Mike was saying, uh, I think um, that when you talk about you're losing those balances and emotions, you're, you're losing those buffer zones that you need um, in everyday life, walking or whatever it is. So sometimes you need to go back and stretch those muscles, um, ranges of motion, decrease those buffer zones so you don't hit end range every time, which can cause irritation. And one of the things we like to remember here at uh, Superior Physical Therapy is that our body functions in three planes of motion, uh, simply meaning... Um, whatever activity we're doing, we're never, we're never doing it just straight forward and straight back. If you, if you watch a kid play, you know, they're running around, they're, they're turning, they're rotating, they're, they're squatting up and down. They're doing all this, all this fun stuff, and that's how our bodies were designed to function. We were designed to move like that. And so as we, as we go through life, just naturally we get into um, just routines of activities. Maybe, maybe we're just going straight forward and back, you know, walking, running, biking. A lot of those are just you know straight planes, so it, it's wise for us to look into uh, getting back into the, the frontal plane motion, which is side to side, or the transverse plane the rotation. And a lot of times, those planes are where injuries can occur, just because they tend to be more avoided. And I know Andrew's had a lot of experience with you know treating people that have experienced things like that, where they you find a success with just kind of bringing those planes of motion back into their life. Really, I think what you and Mike and Keith are really saying is, uh, use it or lose it. I'm designed to move in three planes of motion, and if I stop doing that, I'm going to lose that. See, these guys are pretty smart. I need to kind of dumb it down a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to use an analogy here, I think, that relates to Ben's original question is, do you have to have pain when you get older? And I would say there's no science behind that basically saying you would need to have pain. No, the answer is no. Let's use an analogy of a car. You know, our body has parts just like a car has parts. Do I not maintain my car every three months? I change the oil, I change the brakes, I change the tires. Uh, sometimes I even get a nice new fancy paint job. But the idea is, if I don't maintain my car, why would I expect my car to last the miles and miles that we're going to put on the car? Now, I don't know anybody that has a car that's 100 years old, but it's very reasonable to expect us to live to 80, 80 to 100 years old. So we just need to maintain our body with the use it or lose it principle, which you know we're hitting on from flexibility and a buffer zone. We're hitting on from a, a balance and a proper reception standpoint. And then uh, Nick was talking about three planes of motion. So that's kind of my take on it. I think we pretty much covered it. It's, we're all in agreement. Pain doesn't have to happen as you age. Now, if you need help with it, we're here at Superior Physical Therapy to teach you strategies on how to use it or lose it. Thanks for viewing.